It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Green Bay Packers and the Los Angeles Rams. And it's coming up next. From the second largest city in the U.S., Los Angeles, California, we've got football as EA Sports coverage of the NFL is on the air. For the first month of the season has flown by, and we are on to October. We've got a captivating matchup in store, as it'll be the Green Bay Packers taking on the Los Angeles Rams. Alongside my broadcast partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and as we look at this matchup, Every time there's something different to focus on. So I'll just ask you, what do you see here in this one? Well, Rembrandt, you've given me a pretty blank canvas to focus on, haven't you? Yeah. Where do you think I'm going to go with this? Oh, secondary? You know me. You know me well, right? In a game like this, it's always about the secondary. Can they handle the passing attack and make a few plays? Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Six foot four inch Jordan Love taking the field for the first time. The 2020 first round pick from Utah State set to lead Green Bay. And at the start of Jordan Love's NFL career, he had one of the best seats in the stadium watching Aaron Rodgers work. But now he's looking for more than that. Rocket arm, big play potential. And he wants to show this organization that he's capable of being a dependable starter for the foreseeable future. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. Fights loose. That's to about the 28. Second down coming up. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Now Love. This complete to the tight end, Tucker Kraft. Seven yards there and a first down. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. First down going to the air with Love. To the sideline and incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so he'll just put that in the spot where the only people who can make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. Here's second and ten. Love looking to throw it. That's taken in. Dontavian Ricks. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. It's a gain of 16 and a first down for the green and gold. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window, he fired a bullet in there for the completion. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. A good spot to throw, and indeed, they'll come out with four wide receivers here on second and inches. They will run out of the gun with Jacobs, and he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game.
Love now to pass on first down. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And the Rams are going to get the football back at their own 17. That right there is the inauspicious start that they were hoping to avoid their turnover on the first possession. I love how you use those college-bound words like that, inauspicious. Well done. I really appreciate that. Thank but you. here's the thing for me. I'm just wondering if their game plan is incorrect. You know, I think they felt like they could come in and throw it around pretty well. That interception early, they may rethink how they go about attacking. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. They'll be led out by a former Pro Bowl quarterback out of the University of Georgia, Matthew Stafford. And Matthew Stafford was taken first overall in the 2009 draft, and he certainly played like a top pick. Throughout his career, he's been one of the most prolific passers in the league, and there's no reason to believe he's going to slow down his production anytime soon. Not only that, he's also one of the tougher quarterbacks in the league as well. After the interception, here's Stafford. That's into the hands of 2 2 Atwell. And he'll be drawn just shy of the 35 at the 34. A pickup of 17 on a play that originated at the 17. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Here's second and three. Back to throw, Stafford. And that is going to be incomplete as he let him a bit too much. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them. And not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they're going to have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. So on fourth down, on is Ethan Evans to punt for the Rams. It's a 39-yard punt, three on the return, and it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. Now they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back, and it's still 0-0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. On the ground is Jacobs to start the drive. And a good stiff arm and some space to run. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Love from the gun. Got his man. It's Bo Melton. It'll be a gain of five, and that's going to bring up second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. So give them five yards there on the pitch and catch. And now one yard to go on third down. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Here now, third and a yard. Play fake. Here's Love. Able to find the open man. That's complete. It's a big play there for Green Bay. 
45 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's Jacobs from the gun. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Here's second and two now from the three. Once again, it's Jacobs. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Josh Jacobs, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Packers are on the board first on the road here in L.A. Ah, what a luxury it is to be able to call a bowling ball like Josh Jacobs down near the goal line. 5'10", 220 pounds, and he's not afraid to get in there and get the tough yards. He finishes off this drive with a touchdown run. Extra point right down the middle, and that makes the score 7-0. That drive goes 80 yards in six plays, and it was capped off by a touchdown run from Josh Jacobs. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right of the yard. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted but it winds up falling incomplete. They've given him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes with a big third down coming up. He's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. And that will be incomplete. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they're going to have to give up the football again after this one. Here's Ethan Evans now. Fielded at about the 28. It's a 40-yard punt, six yards on the return, and out will come the offense as they take over. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. 
Second down, Love. Caught on the right side, Reed. And they get him to the ground quickly, but he's out near midfield at the 49-yard line. A busy first quarter. His third catch of the afternoon is a first down. How about the first quarter he's putting together out wide? Pretty impressive. I think that he likes the fact that we're playing this as a day game. You know, some guys, they respond better in the evenings for some reason it builds up. For this guy, day game, and he is off and running. You're exactly right. 100 might be conservative with the start that he's had here in the first he, quarter. Yeah, by the numbers, he's on pace for 200-plus right now. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. Second and nine. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Throw left side is complete to Reed. His fourth catch already in this first quarter. It's a first down. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. Here's Jacobs on first and ten. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. To throw now. Here's Love. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's got Rome. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 15-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. Down the sideline he goes. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. And that's good for a gain of six. And it'll be second down. In motion left here, one of their tight ends. Off the play fake, Love. He's got a man, it's his fullback. And the Packers are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Well, this has certainly been a nice drive with the way they've spread the football around. Here, they even get the fullback involved in the passing game. That's got to cause a lot of consternation on the defensive side. You've got to cover him, too. That makes things really difficult. Jacobs trying to get to the goal line, but he's going to be stopped just short at the one. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Good work there, holding him out on first down, and this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two, maybe even three more plays? Second and goal from the one. One of the tight ends comes in motion. One more time with Jacobs. And this time he is in. Yes. Josh Jacobs with his second touchdown of this opening quarter. And the Packers are off to a 13-0 first quarter lead. So two drives, two touchdowns here in this first quarter, and he's got both of them. Well, he's certainly setting himself up for a big game here. And I think if the play caller doesn't get in his own way, they should keep riding him the entire way of this game. Until the defense proves they can stop him, that's what I would call. The extra point splits the uprights, and it's now 14 to nothing. A 10-play drive that time, and it was capped off by a touchdown run from Josh Jacobs.
Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Now the Rams offense getting the football back. They find themselves in a good size hole here and a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. They come up with exactly one minute to go in this first quarter. Now a play fake it at Stafford. This one swung out to Williams. No gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Now a second and ten. To the right side, and complete to Atwell. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Throwing on third down, Stafford. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's finally taken down, and it's a big game there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. The Rams with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and ten. Off a of play action. Here's Stafford. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off by Eric Stokes. And the Packers will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. Here comes the offense again, and let's focus on Josh Jacobs for a moment. Good returns on the last drive. He hit the end zone for the second time. Good returns in this first half, really. Yeah, good returns for his team. Really good returns for the guy. And you know where I'm fantasy. going. Darn right. Those fantasy guys who have him on their team, they're rejoicing right now, and they have a high expectation that what they've seen already There's will continue. More. You yes. talk about fantasy a lot, but you don't, why don't you just play? You know? I'm not good enough to play Stop. the fantasy game. Stop it. I enjoy watching you're an you analyst. do it. You're an expert. I mean, you were a champ last year. Keep it up. Fifth place. Okay. Well, that's a champ in my book. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Now a second down throw for Love here. Same target. It's Jacobs again. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? On first and ten, Love. He gets that one complete to Wicks. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. It'll go as a gain of four at its second down. He kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Second down and six now. To pass, here's Jordan Love. This pass complete to Melton. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams 30. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now Love. 
That's complete to Wicks. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. It's a gain of nine. Second and one now from the 21. Going back to Love. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Love. They go play action now. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. But well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Second and ten. Love. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Cameron Curl. And the Rams are going to take over at their own 11-yard line. Well, Brent, as they say in popular culture, this one's going to leave a mark because they can see the end zone, but it'll stay out of reach because of their error. All their offensive teammates have to give the quarterback right now, offer a little bit of encouragement because what's done is done. Let's get them next time out. The football going back to the Rams now. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Here's Stafford. He'll drop this down to Williams. And they'll bring him down right around the 13. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Well, based on what we've seen so far, I don't think you can even call this an off day anymore, partner, because this group we're watching, they are totally out of rhythm, trying to get their game plan up and running. That zero on the scoreboard is glaring down at them with every incompletion. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. A 40-yard punt, no return, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here, they could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But this is the NFL. How many times have we watched 14 and nothing leads evaporate and quickly? Mm. So how, do we, how have we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense, but don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start thinking about, hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking. Usually the best way to maintain control. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. The loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. On play action. Love to throw. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, Thornton? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. 
An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing. Love. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. First down, love to pass. Now to the left here to Reed. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route. Just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Love's throw pulled in by Melton. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. They like going to him in the slot, he catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well, great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. On second down, Jacobs. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. And they got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. This is how offensive coordinators earn their money. He throws ahead of the curve after first down. Got seven yards first down play, but then you get stuffed there on second down, maybe just a yard out of it. Now your advantage has evaporated. Play fake. Here's Love. And he is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. They'll run it with Jacobs. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback it makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And I don't think he got there. No, they stop him right where it all started. This defense not budging back-to-back -back carries of just two yards. We got a good battle developing down around the goal line in the trenches. We certainly do. They went fullback dive. He's going to ask for it again because he doesn't get many opportunities to carry the ball, so you know he's going to be determined. That might be the right call to come back with it one more time. Love to throw for it on fourth. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. They begin the drive with Williams. And it's out. He put it on the carpet. And the Packers pick it up. And he will take this down to the 10-yard line. Do you remember in preseason when we go to the different training camps and visiting teams, and we always would see the running backs working out and going through those gauntlet drills and, you know, guys either slapping at the ball or the machines? you got to learn to take care of it. Yeah, they lost it there. Big fumble. 
Here comes the offense again, and let's focus on Josh Jacobs for a moment. A good job in the passing game, decent job in the running game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. Thus far, it feels like they're calling this game in reverse. Normally you run to set up the pass. Here it feels like they're passing, hoping to set up the run and be more effective later on in the game. Yeah, you can do it both ways. We usually talk about it in the reverse, however. No doubt about it. Here's Jacobs. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. To throw now. Here's Love. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Love from the gun. Touchdown, Packers! Bo Melton from eight yards out. And the Packers take a three touchdown lead. Boy, so if you are scoring at home, Charles, and God bless you if you are, but that's now three drives and three touchdowns. So in a baseball game, wouldn't that wreak havoc on your scorecard? Yes. <laughs> I mean, with all the action that's happening now, how they got here, whatever cliche you want to bring into it, they're locked into a groove. They're clicking on all cylinders. Bottom line, they're piling up the points. Point after, right down the middle. And it's now 21 to nothing. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. So now here are the Rams as their offense comes back out. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but... The way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit, and if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Up the middle, it's Williams. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. That's a nice run to get himself back on the horse after his fumble. Nothing spectacular, but a good confidence-building run. The Rams on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and five. A shotgun snap for Stafford. And that is incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. I know this offense was expecting to do big things, but it certainly hasn't turned out that way, at least not through the first three drives. They're definitely going to have to put their heads together and start concocting some offense that'll move the ball downfield. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return, and they will take over first and 10. The Packers ready to take over offensively. 
This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Here's Love. And he's got his man in stride, complete. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll bring up second down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Third catch for him on this drive alone, and it'll give him a first down. A five-yard gain on the play. First down, Packers. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Love now to pass on first down. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. And not a common sight. At and I believe they buzzed down. They're going to take another look at this play with all Previous reviews coming from the review. replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I, I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, the that's play. pretty tight. Well, here's the call. Again, it's love. And this one is incomplete. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far. But on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Love now. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. Now the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. They will throw again here with Jordan Love. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. From 17 yards out. And the Packers are able to widen their lead here in this first half. Well, you talk about a team coming into an opposing stadium and just taking the life right out of a crowd. That's what we're witnessing here. 27 nothing, Charles. And this defense, they've just looked completely unprepared for what's been thrown at them. And you know they're supposed to adjust series to series. That has not happened for them. So I don't think halftime adjustments are going to help a heck of a lot. They are in major trouble unless they figure out something really fast. Extra point right down the middle. And the route is on here in this first half.
So the Packer kickoff team set to go as they will kick this one away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. He'll get that complete to Parkinson. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it, and it's second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Now they got to get to the line quickly. To throw is Stafford. And his throw is incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. That's caught. It's Demarcus Robinson. And he's going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's been a very one-sided game so far. they got to change what they're doing right now, don't they? You can't wait till the halftime speech to make an adjustment. No, you can't, because if you're doing it right, you're adjusting from series to series, and they need a big adjustment here to try and put some points on the board. Now a first down throw, Stafford. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. So five yards here, five on the play. And that will bring up second down. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right? Whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case, the feet, doing a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. The Rams, they are on the move. They've got another first down. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. On first down, Stafford here. And he will find his man on the outside. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout, their second, as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. From the 31, here comes second and a yard. To the air again, Stafford. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Back to throw, Stafford. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. It'll be a loss of two on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the left hash, it's an even 50-yard attempt. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle, and that will 
finish off this third quarter of play. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. This Coachman. was an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up, ready to go. The other's been in a daze thus far, but there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. All right, Coach, we just thanks watched very much. Fine work as always as we welcome Russian you back champ, for quarter Josh number Jacobs. three. He chipped in a couple of touchdown runs as he was running with determination right from the word go. The Rams set to receive the second half kickoff, and they trail here as we resume play. Taking it at about the one. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Rams offense ready to begin quarter number three. The CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. And let's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. And, partner, you know as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Stafford. And quickly into the hands of Robinson. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Well, the margin on that scoreboard, obviously, for them, it looks daunting. But I don't know, Charles. They're probably not focused on that right now. Maybe just chaining together a positive drive with plays like we just saw, giving themselves something to build on. Yeah, I think you're right about that. And what they have to be careful of is getting glued to that scoreboard, trying to do too much. Because if you do that, you're all but guaranteed to start making mistakes. Just focus on one play at a time and make each one successful. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. First and 10 at the 48-yard line. A quick throw out wide caught by Robinson. Call it a gain of a yard, and that'll make it second down. Now Stafford. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Throwing on third down, Stafford. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Here comes the Rams punter now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. So here are the Packers now. They get set for their first possession of half number two. And it's hard to imagine that the first half could have gone any better for them. So what's the approach here in the second half? Just continue to play smart football because they got the other team down and they feel good about the position they're in. 
the obvious thing people would say is just keep attacking, but I think you also have to be smart about it. Avoid turnovers. That's about the only thing that can derail you at this point. Attack, but make sure you take care of the ball. Well, throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Well, I certainly don't want to pile on, but this defense has just not been up to the challenge in this game, and this continues as we see here. Coverage, not been very good, soft in spots. There's an easy throw and catch for another first down. Now this throw caught left side, and he's brought down. Give him 15 there, and the Packers have a first. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them, and these guys have been taking advantage so far. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second-half blowout material. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. 48 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. Here now, second and four. Love. A quick throw there is incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. On now is the Packers punter, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted, spotted at the 14-yard line. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, let's just say it's been unusual. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Here's Stafford. That's into the hands of Parkinson, the tight end. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 68 yards receiving now for him in the game. And a first down on that last catch as well. First and 10 at the 32-yard line. From the gun, here's Stafford. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Stafford looks to throw again. He's going to find Atwell open downfield. A big play there for L. 48 yards. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far. And never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Stafford. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. With Sean Gary that time fighting free and getting to the quarterback. 
Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Let's ride, dog. Now they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. Now it's Stafford. And that's going to be incomplete. At this point in the game and the situation they're in, partner, these incompletions that we're seeing, they need to turn into positive snaps and soon. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Stafford now to throw. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. Green Bay up to the task there in coverage and forcing a fourth down. Well, how about the coverage we just saw him break out on third down? Dime defense. Blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed. Unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. And his kick is good. And they're back within three scores as it's now a 22-point game. So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. The Rams kickoff team on the field, and here we go with the ball in the air. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. Love going to break the huddle, lead the Packers up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll give it to Jacobs to start the drive. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. play action this time with love he's able to find Melton so that'll be no better than an incompletion and that's going to set up a tough third and nine as a defense you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you they're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage On third down, Love. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. It certainly appears that he's been able to get a read on how they've wanted to contain him in this game. He's seen some places where he can beat them in big spots, and right there, he slides in with ease for the first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. To throw now, here's Love. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Tredavious White with a pick. And the Rams are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. Well, still down quite a bit here, several scores. But, yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception, they've got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10, right at the 50-yard line. 
From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Caught out left side by Robinson. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. It'll be a first down for the Rams there on a pickup of 18. And you start to think if it's going to happen for these guys, it's got to start with this drive. Down three scores, they need to start making some inroads. And that'll help the cause there as they pick up good yardage and a first down. On first and 10, Stafford. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. He has just not had his focus in this game. It is not one drop. It's not two. That's three for this contest. Yeah, uncharacteristic for any NFL receiver, and he's no exception. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Here's Stafford. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Throwing a Stafford. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. Uh, partner, you know what I'm going to say before I even say it. Yeah, you just cannot take a sack in that spot. You're exactly right. You can't take a sack in that spot. Potentially now, a three-point swing right there. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. So now, Charles, this drive maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. A good start to the drive here. That's caught out on the left side. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. This is just more of the same. This defense has had no answer on a lot of these throws. They've let these receivers run wild. And here's another completion for good yardage. Jacob's going to try the middle, and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be, but still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Ball on the 30 now. Here's a second and seven. Now Love. And his throw here is incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no game. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Love looking to throw it. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's not the first time they've looked his way when they've needed a big play. He's been the go-to guy all game long. And they get the hook up again on third down to keep this drive alive. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Throwing. Love. And that one's going to come up a little short. It's incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Here's a handoff to Jacobs running left and able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. They're in a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. 
Seventh play of the drive, forthcoming on third and eight. Love now. And the throw there going to be incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. On now is the Packers punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. That's returnable now for Smith. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Rams will go on offense here for the first and 10. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. I kind of feel like they've reached a do or die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Now a first down throw, Stafford. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Another attempt, another incompletion, and when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long gain or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points, and the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. And quickly into the hands of Robinson, and he'll get this up to the 34-yard line fifth catch of the afternoon and that gives him a first down well we talk all the time about playing situational football right now I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do where they are in this game they've got to push the ball downfield take their shots try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time that was a nice play there Now this one complete downfield on the left side. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. That's good for 28 yards. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 38. Now a give up the middle to Williams. And he stopped immediately there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. To throw on second down to Stafford. And that one knocked away and incomplete. Nice job defensively on what will be the final play of the third quarter. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Los Angeles. It's the Rams trailing, but they do have the football as we start the fourth and final quarter. The Rams on third down, just a 20% success rate at two of 10. This is third and 10. To throw is Stafford. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Here we go on fourth, Stafford. By rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Xavier McKinney, and the Packers are going to take over at their own 40-yard line. Well, I guess an interception at this point on fourth down is just as bad as an incomplete pass. Either way, the ball goes over to the other side. He has a tough spot to be in this late in the game, and there's not a whole lot he could do there, and he winds up giving the ball away. The Packers offense set to go. 
And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. Loving the Packers now with a first and 10 right at the 30. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 72 yards on the ground here for Jacobs, and this is a first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with, and throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, He's the guy they've turned to, and it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Ram territory. Holding offense. So they cite the right guard this time with a holding penalty. And so many different assignments you can have at that position, and sometimes you might just be a step too late and have to grab and hold on. Counter play with Jacobs. Up to make the play defensively, Tredavious White. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. He's going to sling this deep downfield. Touchdown! Bo Melton with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Packers have opened up a four-touchdown lead here in the fourth. So still throwing here in the fourth quarter with a pretty sizable lead, and now that lead even more sizable. And if nothing else here, CD, a chance to pile on some stats before this one wraps up, and he did just that. Brandon Convention tells us it's time for them to get off the gas a little bit, right? But you and I both know the receivers don't want them to because, as you noted, this is their chance to pile on the stats. If they got their way, they try to get every single spot in the depth chart points before this game is over. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers you would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Stafford's throw pulled in by Atwell here. They'll give him four yards there. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Stafford. Ball oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. Good clean play, no flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion, and that should get him off the field with a three and out. 
All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They snap it to Stafford. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have the Rams first down. So quite a call there. They go on fourth and inches and wind up getting five yards. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. He stopped to get it done, as you noted, and they did. On first down, Stafford here. Open man is Atwell, complete. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. And he's been one of their few bright spots here this afternoon. And as you pointed out, so far he's gotten his. That's not been the issue at all. But the teammates, the other guys, they've been shut down. That's why the defensive guys have to feel pretty good, even though he's over 100 yards. Yeah, he topped 100 with that last catch. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. Now Stafford. He'll get that complete to Parkinson. Short completion, just four yards, and that's going to bring up second down. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do, you got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end, take some easier completions. Yeah, interception last drive. There he hits the reliable target. Play action, Stafford. Now the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. Rashawn Gary able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. You can almost see all the defenders rubbing their hands together with glee because we all know they relish the chance to bring down a quarterback of his caliber. Anyone who brings him down has plenty to talk about. Not just a sack, but a big win built off the efforts of this defense. So now Stafford and the Rams after the sack, well, they're staring up at a third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. Stafford will stay out there. He'll lead his guys up to go for it on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Going up top. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. No luck for the Rams as they fail here on fourth down. And the Packers are going to get the football back in excellent field position. So that's the second time this game they've given it up on fourth down. They're now one for three on fourth down conversion tries. But they must feel good about what they're doing, right? They continue to go for it on fourth down. Give the defense a lot of credit, though. They've stopped them two out of three times. Usually, you have fourth down plays that you have dialed up and ready to go and you think are going to be successful. Not so far in this game. Here's a handoff to Jacobs. And a pretty good run there as he gets seven down to the 33. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Second down, Jacobs once more. And some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. 96 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. 
Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And then his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And the Rams are going to have it here at their own nine-yard line. Well, Charles, he's thrown five picks in a game before, and right now, after that one, he's standing on number four. And right now, your defensive coordinator is asking the offensive coordinator, can you do anything to slow this down? Because my guys have to keep running back out on the field, so play calling may come into it a little bit, maybe run the ball a little bit more, but a lot of it depends on the scoreboard. They may have to keep throwing it. After the interception, here's Stafford. He'll get this one complete to Atwell. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Meanwhile, Stafford's throw pulled in by Robinson here. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that'll pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mouse trap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Third and two, Stafford. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Packers pick it up. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, say, down this big in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd quarter. say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. And now the Packers get set to go. And they have to be feeling pretty good. Comfortable fourth quarter lead as they take over following the fumble recovery. handoff this is Jacobs and he'll take this ahead for about four second down coming up well in every play call you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game trying to establish the inside run run with toughness now hopefully get to the perimeter later and let's face it you could do worse than a four yard run on first down play fake here's love and give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. Well, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back through the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we have been disappointed in watching their execution throughout this contest. Extra point splits the uprights, and this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Nothing. 
something here. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, C.D., but unfortunately... The second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Stafford on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Throwing is Stafford. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now, fourth quarter, certainly not enough time for a comeback, but nice to see them making use of the time remaining to try and make this one a little more respectable. Yeah, I think the ultimate goal, good execution, be crisp, be sharp, and find a way to put some points on the board to make this thing look just a little bit better. On first down at Stafford. There's Robinson showing the flash. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. From the 50 at Stafford. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 37. That one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Again, it's Stafford. And a quick throw here. That's complete. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. Now Stafford had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake, third down. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, and after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Here's Stafford. That is caught. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 16. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. 
They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Stafford looks to throw again. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's across for the touchdown. Too little, too late. But he does get in for six. No wonder you're grinning. You just beat me in our fantasy league. Indeed I did, my good man. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team. But I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film. But this one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, th I agree with you totally on that one. Point after, right down the middle. As they make the score just a slight bit more respectable here in the final quarter of play. The Rams kickoff team on the field, and here we go with the ball in the air. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. Well, they came into this one with a vision, Charles, and it has played out exactly as they had hoped, if not even better. They've got the huge lead here, and now the football for the final moments of the fourth. Yeah, and it was apparent that they were the better team, right? We figured that out pretty early. But give them a lot of credit for staying with it. They didn't stumble around out there. They didn't create a lot of errors for themselves because they were the superior team. They took care of business and closed them out pretty quickly. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And hey, partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. From Los Angeles, so long, everybody.